Thinking. We were never segregated in school, in sports, in any of our pursuits. And his heart is really that of a, of a competitor. And I, I completely understood that. So what was shocking to me was actually uh, 12 years after I had pioneered you know, the, the, these sprinting legs, that there was suddenly a controversy that they made us too able. Um, and, that, and I find that very exciting. That's a conversation I, I want to have with anyone who wants to have it. It's interesting, isn't it, that they cry foul as soon as you uh, go faster than they do. Well, I, I, I have a theory that it parallels racial integration of sport and gender integration of sport. Um, that, and I don't, I don't even think it's conscious. I think it's subconscious. But there is a, a human paradigm that whenever we play with somebody that we think is less than, and they beat us. What does that say about us? And we tend to want to block them ever being able to play with us again. And you know that's the backbone of all kind of segregated. And the very first thing, of course, we say it's not fair. And I this is also a story. Uh, Amy has many pairs of legs, uh, twelve, I think. Uh, and uh, you were telling me the story of uh, she's in, she's very tough height. From five foot eight to six foot one, depending yes. on the legs she's using. Yes. Yes. My mother is five foot tall. It's a great yes. trick. Yes. 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 And didn't one of your friends complain and say that it wasn't fair? The last pair of limbs that I had made in in Bournemouth, in England, at Dorset or Nick, I decided to go for the undoable again. He, he told me this couldn't be done. I said we will do it. I want to wear this shoe, <laughs> and it was four inches. Complete hubris, and yes, the athlete in me thought I could do this, and we did. It, um, and it, and I actually made an inch. I added an inch onto the height of <laughs> the leg. And my first night on them in New York, you know, a bit like a like Bambi, a, a, a new fawn trying to. Ooh, suddenly, you're just you see the top of door jams in a way that you you've never seen before, and people treat you differently. And I was, you know, if I have some momentum, I think we all know this, walking on heels. If you have momentum, it's much easier than trying to walk very slowly in them. So I was zipping around. It was, a, it was the opening of Love of, uh, Love Me Rose and in, in New York at the Paris Theater, very glamorous, Chanel, and, you know. So I'm at this party afterwards, and a woman that had known me for years. <laughs> You're so tall. And I said, I know, I just got my legs, it's so exciting. And she said, but, but that's not fair. <laughs> and I realized what was interesting was that actually she was completely serious. You know, it, was, it was a woman, you know, of about five foot three, five foot four, and she, even with the highest heel, she was never going to get beyond, you know, five or six inches on her height. And, and I thought, well, this is interesting. You know, that you can subvert the thing that people have always presumed to be disability into an asset, um, or at least into the ability to be the architect of your own, ever-changing, recreating identity.